the morning of January 26, 2020, the basketball world and the entire planet was shocked by the news that Kobe Bryant, along with eight other passengers, had perished in a helicopter accident. All of us here are at Sports Room. We're devastated. As you know, we were all huge fans of the NBA and just huge admirers of the impact he had. And our condolences to Kobe Bryant's family and to the families of the passengers who were lost. And we all know the kind of impact that Kobe Bryant had and what kind of impact Gianna Bryant would have carried on through his legacy. Well, most people aren't uh, noting some of the other passengers that were on there. I'm just going to list them all just so everyone knows. It was Gianna and Kobe Bryant, John and Carrie Altobelli, Alyssa Altobelli. She was a teammate of Gianna. Christina Mazur, Era Zoboyan, the pilot, and Peyton and Sarah Chester. Yeah, our hearts go out to all of the families of those that were involved in this really just tragic, unexpected incident, man. Like, of, like if you would have told me three days ago that Kobe Bryant would have died in a helicopter crash, I just, no one would believe that. It's just... It doesn't seem real. No, we were just out playing basketball, and like you could just tell it, it just hurt so bad. Like it just hurt everyone. And to think of those kids, like not not only Kobe's family, but the other uh, Alto Belly family. They those two kids, they left behind two kids, and those kids won't have a mom or a dad for the rest of their lives. So it just hurts to think about. Yeah, it's a sad day. Unfortunate circumstances. It came about that it was um, inclement weather, and Kobe Bryant still wanted. In which it was normal for him. He been flying flying on a helicopter to save time and to kind of bypass the traffic in that that region in L.A. We all know how bad the traffic was there. And the pilot, very experienced pilot, very seasoned, um, one of the best at what he does. He had special clearance to fly in bad weather he did, because yeah. he was such a um, esteemed pilot and ended up losing radio contact, not able to maneuver through the mountains near Calabasas and. It ended fatally. But as we continue to remember Kobe Bryant and the legacy we made, we want to share how much he meant to our lives and kind of our journey in watching basketball. First memory was when I was four. My dad, the only jersey I had from the ages between four and like 12, the only jersey I ever had was a Kobe Bryant jersey, number eight from the Lakers. It's the first jersey my dad ever got me, football or basketball. And just seeing that, I used to wear it all the time. I didn't really know what, who Kobe was, but I had his jersey. Then I remember in 2009, I think it was, watching the finals and just, just seeing him play, that's what got me into basketball. My first memory of Kobe, I was around six or seven at the time. I was being babysat at my friend's house. I didn't know m much about basketball, but at the time there was a game on and all anybody could talk about was Kobe Bryant. I didn't know many basketball players aside from maybe LeBron James and Michael Jordan and Shaq. And every, all everyone could talk about was Kobe Bryant, and that name was ingrained in my head forever. Yeah, and for me, uh, growing up as a Celtics fan, a young fan, before I was a Celtics fan, I um, had heard the name Kobe Bryant. I To me, I, I was, didn't know the most at the age five. I thought Kobe Bryant was the player on the Cavaliers and LeBron James on the Lakers, but then I came to realize Kobe Bryant was the great player on the Lakers, and the first time I ever saw him was the 2010 Finals, and that was the first NBA game I watched, actually, and Kobe Bryant was there going head-to-head -head with my favorite player, Kevin Garnett, and I grew I grew to dislike Kobe Bryant as a player, obviously respect him as a legend and as a wonderful person who had a great impact in this league, but yeah, as a Celtics fan, I just remember him because he just like instilled fear in teams, and my team was unfortunately on the other end of him winning a, his second championship of a back-to-back. -back. So I have the memory of kind of Kobe Bryant crushing the dreams of my favorite team. Well, just watching, he did him, best, but yeah. watching him and his excellence, being a Hornets fan, I, I couldn't really – and it was my first finals ever. So just getting into the sport, I think, was a big point for me. And watching him just – his fade away, I feel like it was just so special for me. Yeah, and – as we move into a Kobe, Kobe's legacy beyond just balling out and having an, a, a story career, a mob mentality, that's a phrase everybody hears, and it's shaped the basketball that we watch today. Even if you're young and you've never had the opportunity to watch Kobe in his prime play, you see that every, like, every single player in this league knows what mob mentality is, and they try to incorporate Kobe's work ethic, study habits, 
and approach to the game into their basketball because honestly he had the greatest approach to basketball of any player in any sport. Oh, for sure. Opinion. And you, you can just feel it. You go to the gym once, even once a week. You for the hour or two that you're in there, you will hear someone yell Kobe when they shoot it. Everyone does it. That that's the impact that he had on the ba- world of basketball everywhere, not only in the U.S. everywhere. Yeah, not only like you can see as the respect that he has from everyone around the league, all every team taking the twenty four and eight second shot clock violation. Got, got to love the the love and respect mm-hmm. come out of the, the NBA. The Dallas oh, yeah. Mavericks are gonna retire the number twenty four, just purely out of respect. It's just it's a great thing to see how the league is showing the respect. And then he, hearing Trey Young, another one of the NBA's upcoming stars, talk about how. Kobe and John O'Brien had been to two of his games, and John had told Trey that he was his favorite player. I know, or yeah, he was her favorite player. And I know that he's just heartbroken and understand that Gianna, she was gonna have a, a wonderful impact and carry on a legacy as well as Definitely. we see with UConn women's UConn, basketball. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They, jersey, they know yeah. how great she was gonna be, and they're, they're devastated as well. And left a jersey and kind of a memorial for her at the next game as one of like the most storied basketball program in college history without the championships they have in a short amount of time. It's, it's, it's great to see that she's remembered and she won't be forgotten. So let's, what was your favorite memory of Kobe? Um, my favorite memory is not even difficult to think about. I was on vacation lit in mid-April in Hawaii. I turned on the TV because I wanted to watch along with a lot of other NBA fans around the world. I needed to watch Kobe's final game. And I just remember, I'm not a Lakers fan. I'm a Clippers fan. I understand the rivalry, but everybody on the planet was cheering for Kobe in his last game. Yeah. Seven, what was yours? And my heart memory as well, it might, it's kind of just the most iconic because as we're young, we're, me and Max are both 17, and we didn't have the opportunity to watch Kobe's 81-point game, which that'd probably be the most memorable highlight of his career as far as just one night goes. But, um, yeah, the Kobe Bryant's last game, even though I, if you ask me any time, was my least favorite player of all time, I see Kobe Bryant because just, like, just the amount of times he crushed my hopes and dreams with the Boston Celtics and just seeing how great he was. But if you ask me, like, I would always respect Kobe Bryant. I mean, he's a legend mom mentality and I want to be able to witness history and say that I had the opportunity to see such a great player's final game and I wasn't disappointed at all I had to stay up on a school night in eighth grade I remember I was tired the next morning but I I was so glad that I stayed up to watch that 60 point performance just inspiring inspiring the entire basketball community well I think I'm gonna have to agree but the moment that affected me the most was was when he said mom out and you could just hear the, the crowd go crazy I feel like everyone stayed up for that, and it was it's just a moment that I'm never going to forget, and it's even more impactful now that everything's coming back up, especially the day before the LeBron passing his record. It's just it's everything coming full circle, but everyone's going to appreciate Kobe forever, and his legacy will never die. Yeah, and after, th- after that game, my respect grew for him more as instead of him kind of uh, making the – my least favorite team in the NBA, great. He was um, off the court, just making my favorite sport great. And the the detail, the detail episodes that he put out, the fact that he won an Oscar on a short story about his love for basketball, it just made me come to appreciate the great, not only great athlete that he was, but the great mind and just the overall great person with the kind of mentality and approach he has to life and the amount of people he's touched. It's it's just a sad day to see that he's gone. All right, well, thank you guys for listening. This was not the most happy podcast but this is what everyone needed to hear thank you guys for listening subscribe and like the video and check out our website link in the description